Hey guys, it's Landon with RH. I'm going to show you how you can do some custom hand-drawn contour labels. So normally we would do this in Carlson Survey and it would be automated, but excuse me, we've got some contours here that came off of some LiDAR data. So these were uh, created, these contours are created by my partner Brian, our UAV LiDAR digital twin specialist. I mean, we need to just show some contours with some labels for a land use planning document. It's like a site plan. So I want to drop some labels in here. We're at we're at a 200 scale horizontal scale. So I've got my text set up to be 20 units high or or a tenth of an inch. And I've got some um, lines here just set up to kind of guide the placement of the contour labels. Uh, you could do that east, west, or north, south on this particular site that most of the contours kind of flow in an east-west direction so these north-south lines will work good. Now I just I spaced these out at a thousand feet and I just noticed that you know I'm kind of clipping the edges here so what I'm going to do on these contours at the end is I'm just going to do a 200 foot offset so I can pull those onto the site. So you know you, sometimes you have to make a little adjustment that's okay. And so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and, and, and we're not going to label all these contours. We just need to give the, the planner a uh, overview of where these, uh, you know, what the, what the topography is like. So you can see right here, I've got these middle center justified, the text. And where I intersect a contour with the blue line, I am going to drop this text. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Let me try that again. You know, it doesn't like that intersection snap. Let's try it nearest. There we go. So I've got the contour in there now. On this particular contour, I, I don't have to change the alignment. Um, it, it lines up pretty good. Um, so we'll, we'll end up throwing a wipeout on that. Well, let's just go ahead and, and do one where I know we're going to have to rotate. So I'm going to just move it there from the justification of the the insert point there, the, the justification point. All right. So here's a here's a spot where we need to where we need to rotate the label. So I'm going to drop it in there, and then uh, what I like to do, you can use the rotate command, but you can also use the T orient command. It says select the text, and then we're going to click a couple points just to kind of get the orientation. Oh, sorry, we want readable, readable. Let me try that again. P orient, readable. Boy, I keep messing that command up. Select the text. T orient mode is readable. All right. Well, for some reason, it doesn't want to doesn't want to orient that text. So let's just use the rotate. So we're going to grab that. I'm going to grab that rotation, and then I'm just going to kind of visually line it up so it matches with the contour. Okay. Here's another one we'll do. Let me just do one more. gonna grab it and you know, this doesn't have to be exact guys you know we're just we're just getting it close so we drop that label in there and then we'll rotate now this is going to be really important so you don't want to forget this we want to go ahead and uh, update these contours so this contour here is 56 feet like I said, I'm not going to go crazy on this, so I might I might place 20, 20 of these labels. I'm not going to go wild. So let's check this one up here. This is uh, also a, let's see, is that also a 56? Yep, that is also a 56, just by coincidence. Oop. And let's see, this one is 58. Okay, so um, let's see, we got one here, you know, let's just go ahead and finish up this line, then I'll pause the video. 
So this is this next area here is pretty flat, so I don't feel the need to label anything there. That's pretty flat, but we, we can throw one on here. Looks like we've almost got the same rotation there. We'll put one here. Um, that's probably going to be it for that line. So we'll rotate these real quick, get them lined up with the contour. That one already looked pretty close to me. Let's see, that is a 58 foot contour. So you can see this site's pretty flat. And this one is 60. Okay, so now we have that first line done, right? And you'll see our, you know, our contour labels line up nice line up nicely there. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that for these other lines. Um, then I'll just unpause the video and we'll turn those off and I'll show you guys what the what the labels look like when we're all done. All right, guys, I got these contour labels drawn now. So I went ahead and added them to all the lines, which you can see now. And I went ahead and threw a text mask on there. I uh, did a little bit of cleanup on the on the contours layer. So what that'll actually look like, we can freeze this layer. Oh, it doesn't want to do that because that's the current layer. Apologize. So it'll look like that. So that's good enough for the land planning dock we've got. So we'll go ahead and purge this now and save it and I will let my survey text know it's ready to go.